Ooh. Mm. It is fire, everybody. That's how good it is. It's fire. This is not shepherd's pie. It is also not cottage pie. It is made out of smoked short rib. And let me tell you something. It is absolutely delicious. And making it sous vide is easy. And of course, we start off with beautiful short ribs. As you can see, they have great marbling and it is exactly what you're looking for whenever you're buying beef. Just by the appearances, you already know it's gonna be something special. To season them, it does not get any easier than that. You only need salt and pepper, nothing else. Because the next ingredient is what's gonna take this one to a whole new level. And I'm talking about smoke. I set my smoker to 225 degrees Fahrenheit and put them in there. You wanna smoke them for a total of two hours. That will give a nice smoky flavor to these beautiful short ribs. As it was cooking, it gave me enough time to make the sauce. So I started with a little bit of olive oil and I threw in a whole chopped up white onion. Cook it well until it's nice and translucent. Then I throw in some tomato pates and mixed everything together. As this is cooking, you will notice that you will have a little bit of fond left in the pan. To deglaze it, I like to use red wine. White wine will work just fine as well, but I feel like the red one gives a much better flavor. Once the wine has completely evaporated, it's time to add the next ingredients. So I threw in a bunch of shredded carrots, mix it well and let them cook for 5 minutes. Now this ingredient is very special. You can definitely make it at home, but be ready for a marathon. And it is dead glaze. These are quick and easy and you can buy a bunch of them online. Just throw them in into the sauce and mix everything together. Because I'll tell you one thing, this demi glaze makes everything taste incredible. And to add even more flavor, I threw in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, mix it well and my sauce was ready. This friends is packed full of flavor and it will be a perfect complement for our short ribs. Talking about that, after making the sauce, my short ribs were ready. And as I open up the smoker, this is what they look like. As you can see, the mahogany color is a sign that the smoke penetrated nicely and deeply into the meat, giving it an incredible flavor. Before adding them to the bag, I decided to remove all the bones. And they are not tender whatsoever. That is where sous vide is gonna come in. Not only is it gonna tenderize the meat, but it's gonna combine all of those flavors together with the sauce. So now all there's left to do is to add them to the bag Bag, throw in our sauce, vacuum pack them and they are ready for the water bath. But first, we also have to make our mashed potato. And let me tell you something, they are super easy to make. Into the bag, I threw in a bunch of potatoes. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below for you. Followed by cream cheese, butter, whole milk, salt, and a little bit of white pepper. Vacuum pack the bag and it's ready for the water bath. Talking about that, I'm cooking these potatoes at 180 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. The short ribs, however, I'm cooking them at 180 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 hours. And I really can't wait to taste them. I got my beautiful short ribs ready. They were all cooked at 180 degrees Fahrenheit. That will give me the tenderness of basically falling apart as tender as ground beef, but with the flavor of short rib. Come on, and that demi glaze and that sauce in there, there's no way that this is not gonna be incredible. But it's ready, it's time to take it out. Let's do it. If you could only smell how wonderful it smells, everybody. The smokiness really come through as soon as you open up the bag. Now here's the deal. The only thing left to do is to assemble. It's very easy to do. Now with mashed potato sous vide, you can normally just mash it with your hands. That is good enough to for 99% of the applications. But for this one here, I recommend passing it through a ricer, a potato ricer, so that you have a nice, smooth texture throughout the whole thing versus having some lumps, which you can have whenever you're smashing it with the bag. With all that being said, all there's left to do is to put it together, put it in the oven so that we get a nice little crunchiness of that mashed potatoes on top and get ready to serve. I know it doesn't look that good right now, but watch this.
And there we have it, everybody. My take on it. What do you think, Angel? This is shepherd's pie, no? It's kind of like shepherd's pie, but you know, Are I you... did it with short ribs. So this is this is the title for this video. Are you ready? Why? I made shepherd's pie good. <laughs> Why? You don't like lamb? Lamb is amazing. Yeah, but I mean, huh? mashed potatoes and lamb, I don't know. I don't, it's not really me. I like this better. Well, they have also cottage pie, charge. which cottage pie is made with beef, like ground beef. So and I guess this one is cottage pie more. I don't know what it's called. Shepherd's, shepherd's cottage. Short rib pie. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers, bro. Ooh. Mmm. Come on, come on. That's fire. What did you just say right now? This thing is good. That's fire. You said this thing is fire. That's the new saying? Yeah, this thing is fire, bro. Okay, to all the young generations out there, it is fire, everybody. That's how good it is. It's fire. Normally in my generation, you say it's fire, you better run away, you know what I mean? Like, you catch on fire or something. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing, this is, Extremely easy to make, very flavorful. Make sure you use the demi glaze. So easy because you combine everything together. It, it, it can all of them be made ahead of time. Then whenever you're ready to do it, to finish it up in the assembly, put it in the sous vide, heat it up, assemble it, and put it in the oven, everybody. It's as easy as it gets. You can have it ready for like a, like a party, for after the quarantine. It, exactly, and I'm tired your, of this quarantine. <laughs> Are you tired of it? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in any of the equipment I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Are oh. oh, you going for extra? Huh? And the juices that accumulates on the bottom, it's absolutely phenomenal, everybody. Incredible. Give this one a try. This one must be crazy for leftovers. Oof, oof. I guarantee you, you will not regret it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one, everybody.